One of the challenges of approaching the problem of obesity and cancer scientifically is like anything else, we want to develop high level evidence so that we can give meaningful advice to patients. And I want to pose a couple of questions to explain the problem. One, are all obese patients the same or is there a subset where an intervention might matter? We think that subset is the majority that has inflammation. We also think there's a subset of people who are not obese who have similar amounts of inflammation. So we think the target may be inflammation. Second question might be, would anti-inflammatory drugs from aspirin onward matter? Uh, would weight loss matter? Are there other food or dietary supplements that might matter? These are all fair game, but we actually don't have good prospective high-level evidence for any of them. Uh, a more sobering uh, version of this might be that the damage is done from being overweight and maybe changing uh, diet doesn't uh, do much good after the diagnosis. I don't think that will be true. We have some indirect evidence that that's not true, but I'm just so, uh, cautioning uh, everybody that we right now don't have uh, compelling evidence uh, for specific interventions. However, and this is always the trap, we have good evidence that weight loss and a healthy diet are generally useful outside of breast cancer and other domains. So there's no reason to forego making those healthy lifestyle changes. It may also benefit in terms of breast and other cancers.